guys. I'm in Costa Rica. <laughs> Hello friends, the audio on this is probably gonna be crazy. The lighting's already crazy because there's like no lighting in this hotel room, which is great for me in the evenings because I do not like light, <laughs> but it's not great for filming. But um, I also know it's really echoey. So like, we'll keep this intro to a minimum, but oh my gosh, I'm in Costa Rica <laughs> on my first Trova trip that I've ever hosted. And today is day one of the itinerary. Our friends, our fellow travelers have been arriving throughout the day and I've met some of them for the first time and they're all so lovely. I've just got about the last group to arrive. So I'm like, keep checking my phone because I don't want to miss them arriving. But yeah, today we are going out for a welcome dinner and then the fun begins and we're traveling around some of the Caribbean beaches side of Costa Rica and it still doesn't feel real. <laughs> It still feels incredibly surreal. We're so excited to be here, seriously. We're like, this is the dream. I can't really believe this is happening. I'm so grateful and like, that this is my life and I get to go to Costa Rica with some of you guys. And those of you watching <laughs> can watch this vlog and be with us vicariously as well. We've got so much fun stuff lined up like kayaking, snorkeling. We've got a night walk where the spiders and sloths and tree frogs and monkeys and bats come out, <laughs> which I'm very excited for. And I'm just excited to spend a week with these amazing, lovely people. Um, so yeah, we've got a welcome dinner tonight. And then we set off bright and early tomorrow morning to make it to our first like proper stop. We're in San Jose, the capital city for the start and end. This is my first time in Central America and I am just so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been having so much fun meeting everyone. I've had lunch with some people today, but the trip really begins now with this welcome dinner. So I'm gonna take you along. I'm gonna try and find a balance between vlogging the trip and being present with the guys as well. I'm sure it will be fine once we start going. But I am just, I am just I'm so excited for this opportunity, for this holiday with everyone. I can't believe it. So I'll bring you guys along with us throughout the trip. And shall we just get into it? We're in Costa Rica. I never thought I'd get to go to Costa Rica in my life and I'm here. What is going on? Okay, I'm gonna go to the dinner with everyone now. I'll see you in a bit, I'm so excited. <laughs> morning so it is the next day it's our first full proper day of the tour um the dinner last night was amazing it was great meeting everyone everyone was pretty tired because they had a long day of traveling but it was so great meeting everyone and it was actually one of our travelers birthdays so we got a little cake for her but um yeah today we're traveling off to Tortuguero and the trip really begins today and I'm just so excited we've got quite a journey but I'm very excited and then yeah we've got loads of fun stuff planned today in Tortuguero I'm so excited to it's like kind of jungly so I I will see you there, but um, let's get going. impressions of the room. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. We've got two beds. And 
literally outside our door. Like, look at this. We're crazy. Guys, this is absolutely insane. <laughs> We have got to Tortugaro, we've got to our hotel room. We've already seen Hello Monkeys, we've already seen Macaws. Oh guys, we've seen a crocodile. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Um, but we're going for a walking tour around the town now. I realised I probably did a terrible job of explaining if you don't know what Trover Trip is. So basically, the other people on this trip with me is some of you guys, some fellow subscribers that have come on the trip with me. The group is already amazing. Um, I'm loving getting to know everyone. But yeah, we've got two exciting activities the rest of today. Um, we've got a walking tour around the town, which we're going to go to now. And then we have got a night tour where we're going to see all the animals that come out at night in the jungle. <laughs> How many people were scared? Okay. Me too. I was really, really scared. I'm so excited. I don't know how much that'll be able to film because obviously it's going to be very dark. But um, yeah, we're going to go to the town now, which I'm very excited for. And I'll take you along with us. But this trip is already insane. Also, I'm going to look a mess. <laughs> For the rest of this video because it is so hot and humid it's it's crazy I mean, i've just had a shower and i already feel disgusting but it's, um, it's great i love the heat but um i'm just gonna look a mess and i'm accepting that and you need to accept that <laughs> anyway so let's go to the town
morning, friends. Please ignore any mess you can see <laughs> over here. But um, yesterday was like one of the most incredible days of my life. I'm being deadly serious. <laughs> Got to be one of the worst yes. days I think I've ever had. <laughs> Being deadly serious. <laughs> the highlight for me was we saw the sloth. Did you guys see the sloth? Oh my God. I almost cried. He was so cute. I've never seen a sloth before. Actually, one of the travelers, Hannah, had met a girl uh, earlier in the holiday who had been here two months and not seen a sloth. So I'd given up. We saw 10,000 sloths yesterday. We saw the one in the day. And then we had the night walk tour, um, which I didn't film a ton of. I've got some clips that you've probably seen, but um, I didn't film a ton of because obviously it was hella dark. <laughs> night time but we saw loads of sloths we saw iguanas we saw there was one point where we saw baby turtles on the beach we only got to see them briefly because um obviously not supposed to like shine light on them because they get confused but like there was literally four crawling <laughs> on my feet at one point we were trying to leave because we didn't want to like disturb them but they were just like crawling. they were so cute they were so cute it was so special it was such a wonderful day i like can't believe <laughs> What a wonderful day it was. And I was talking to Chelsea, another one of the travelers, and we were saying we cannot believe that yesterday was one day. <laughs> like so much happened. Um, but today we've got another jam packed day. We have got a boat tour this morning, and then we've got kayaking and another guided jungle walk this evening. We're literally in the jungle in this hotel. Like this is crazy. Like we can hear all kinds of bugs and like monkeys <laughs> and birds in the night. But you'll be chilling in the pool and there'll just be a monkey like in, in the trees right next to you. Just monkey, chilling, <laughs> just chilling. But yeah, yesterday was just incredible, guys. It was incredible, it was incredible. Like, I cannot believe this in my life, what the hell? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead to breakfast, then we've got activities, but this is just making me even more excited for my Greece trip as well. If you don't know, I've got another Trova trip coming up, which is my Greece trip next year in October. And this is making me even more excited for that because yesterday was literally one of the best days of my life. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you soon. We're gonna go have a very exciting day again. And I, yeah, I cannot wait to see what we're gonna see today. How ex guys, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? This is like the most amazing experience of my life. Oh my God. <laughs>
I'm talking quietly because I don't want to wake anyone up. Um, oh, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, so it's our last morning in Tortugero. Can you hear all those sounds? It's crazy. <laughs> Um, since I spoke to you last, we had the boat tour yesterday morning. We came back and chilled by the pool for a bit, and then we went kayaking, and it was crazy. <laughs> Me and Tom have done a lot of kayaking in the past, but usually it's like beach. This is more like in the rivers and the canals around here, and it was challenging. <laughs> it was challenging, but we had a great time, but we all got mucky afterwards. And then we just had dinner and chilled by the pool. I've come inside because people kept walking past, and I don't like filming. <laughs> It was so awkward, just me standing there and then walking past and me like being silent. <laughs> but at least you saw some of the nice outside. Um, what was I saying? Yes, okay, we went kayaking, it was crazy, it was a great experience, but then we were all dirty. So we all came back and showered, had dinner, and then we all chilled by the pool for a couple of hours, like playing games. It was so fun. I had such a fun time. Um, so I hope we do that a bit more in the rest of the trip. But yeah, so today we are just traveling to our next location. But yeah, the kayaking, probably the most insane kayaking you've ever done. <laughs> It was a moment. That's why there's like no footage of it. We were like, we are not filming this. We are just surviving. <laughs> it was great. It was amazing. But um, yeah. And like, like going through, we managed to go through like smaller canals that like the bigger boats we've been on have, wouldn't be able to fit through. And it was just perhaps the most insane experience of my life. Like, I'm like, how am I here? What am I doing? <laughs> Anyways, but I did want to give you a little bit of a book review because I finished Where There Was Fire, which is one of our book club picks. We've got two book club picks. Plicks. Um, <laughs> we're supposed to be discussing them tomorrow. And I still got to read the other one, but it's quite short. And I finished this one and we've all hated it. <laughs> because it's shit! I think we're all going to give it like two stars. I'm giving it two stars. Um, it's set in Costa Rica in 1968 and I think in like 1995. Yeah. And it's partly a family saga following these generations who have kind of fallen out of contact with each other and like the tensions between them. And it's partly also a... Uh, commentary on exploitation of workers by America in other countries and um, American influence and international exploitation and how that intertwines with what happened to the family, right? And I understand that the two are, by the end of the book, like, so intertwined that, like, you can't have one without the other in the book. But I just feel like it was trying to do these two things simultaneously and so it did neither of them well. You know, I don't know. I feel like I wasn't really invested in the family saga and their tensions and their relationships. And there wasn't a lot of information about the other aspect of the book. I was also hella bored. <laughs> I fell asleep on the plane listening to the audiobook. And I think we've all been bored. I just didn't like the writing style. The writing style was like a little bit like, it would, it would kind of say like gross things for no reason. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> bodily things it was all bodily things and I was like what is going on like uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this there's a lot of weird aspects to it but so few weird aspects that the whole book wasn't weird but you just have a line where you'd be like uh, okay <laughs> oh Jesus gross but anyways yeah I gave it two stars um it's got great reviews on the back but I just didn't feel connected to it in any way, and I don't think any of us have. But you know, I like what it's trying to do, but it didn't succeed for me. Anyways, we are gonna go travel to our next place today. Um, so I don't know what we'll do, we'll get there in the afternoon. So I don't know what the plans are. We haven't got any scheduled activities, but we'll probably all hang out. So um, yeah, I'll see you when I see you. I don't know how much filming we'll get done today because we have got a lot of traveling as well. But um, I'll see you around. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Small man, forever be, forever be, in this moment, in this moment, forever. 
forever be, forever be. The night fades like a whispered song as time rushes on. I need to sort out my hair, but we're going to the beach today. So I'm gonna wash my hair afterwards. But yeah, we're going for the beach. Apparently, it's a very pretty beach for like a beach day. Look at our room, by the way. It's got a hammock outside. What the hell? <laughs> Anyways, we're heading to the beach. So I'll see you when we get there.
And then the next morning, I didn't have time to record in the morning because we had to get packed up. I just realized I didn't actually film inside the room at this hotel, which is a shame because it was so beautiful. Um, but we were just so busy having fun <laughs> that I didn't get a chance to film. But anyways, we had to get packed up and travel back to San Jose. But instead of going straight back to San Jose, we actually decided to visit the nearby Jaggi Rescue Center, which had loads of rescue animals. So I'll, uh, I'll let the clips roll of us visiting the rescue center, but it was amazing. We saw so many animals here. I'm trying to find a place in this hotel room where I can sit the camera down. I'm just gonna sit on the toilet and put the, <laughs> the camera here to chat to you, okay? Because we're in a rush. Um, I realize I haven't spoken to you. The audio is pretty bad in here as well, but I'm just gonna... <laughs> It's a mess. Chat to you quickly. So yesterday we went to the beach. I saw you before we went to that. Then we went to a really nice restaurant for lunch nearby. And then we all chilled out for a couple of hours in the, in the afternoon. Went out for dinner together. And then we spent the whole evening playing games together. Every evening we've been hanging out and like <laughs> playing games together. We've just been so much fun. We played Just One. We played a lot of pool as well at the last hotel because it had a pool table. I think you go, yeah, you saw that. Um, and then we've traveled, oh no, this morning, you saw, we went to um, like an animal rescue center and we saw so many amazing animals. We got chased by a parrot, <laughs> we got a thing for a feet. We saw monkeys, sloths, and like cat, some cats, big cats, small big cats. <laughs> And we're about to go to our farewell dinner now. I cannot believe how quickly this trip has gone. And I don't know how well I've been vlogging because it has been pretty crazy. It's been pretty full on. Um, I've just had the best time and this group is all amazing people. So yeah, we've got our farewell dinner. But yeah, yesterday was an amazing day. Beach, the lunch was amazing at Bread and Chocolate. The dinner was really nice and hanging out. Hanging out in the evening has been the highlight for me because we've all just been chatting and like laughing. It's been so much fun. We've had such a great time. I feel like the group has bonded really well and everyone's getting along great. And I just want to be friends with them forever. <laughs> I just think everyone's getting along so well. So yeah, it's our last dinner together tonight. And then um, some people fly it tomorrow in the morning. And then there's a few of us who are getting, we're flying the next day and there's a few other people on our flight. So we get to hang out with a few people a little bit longer. But tonight is kind of the final night of the trip and we're going to a bookshop briefly and then we're going to head to dinner and um, yeah, I'm excited. Apparently it's really good. It's like Argentinian restaurant. Maybe uh, there'll be like a steak-esque dish. So I'm very excited. But yes, I thought I'd just check in with you quickly <laughs> before we rush off again because we literally just got to the hotel from traveling um, and now we're off out again. <laughs> I'll see you later, but um, yeah, let's go grab dinner and go to a bookshop. Been things are well. What facts 
this video I thought we would hear from <laughs> to end this video I thought we would hear from the travellers who made this trip amazing and we're in the diary room from Big Brother I would be lying to my core if I said that I hope there's no more drama here anyways I'll hand you over to them and they'll tell you all the good the bad and the ugly of <laughs> this trip okay okay ready yeah action <laughs> My name's Natalie and I'm from Sacramento, California. Um, I'm Lucy, I'm from London. Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm from Denmark, Copenhagen. I'm Sapphire, I'm from Victoria, BC in Canada. Hi, so I'm Hannah. Hi, I'm Chelsea. Hi, I'm Kirsty. I was really nervous about coming on this trip with Meg, but I thought it would be so amazing to meet her face to face because I've been watching her on YouTube for like three years now. And we've had such a fun time being mm -hmm. here. It's really been nice and we're seeing so many amazing things. Yeah, lots of really cool animals. Yeah. And for me, it was like a lot of the plants were so cool. Yeah. You wanna pause, don't worry. Okay. I, no, just I'll put just our hands up. This means we're pausing. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Quick pause. How do I stop this? I guess we just said Especially as someone who doesn't have any people in their real life to read books with, it's been great going on this trip, meeting like-minded people, and I've had such a good time. It's been so much fun. Um, had some incredible experiences, saw some turtles going into the ocean. <laughs> this is serious. She could grow a channel from this. Okay, mum's calling us on the line. Okay, all right, I'm really sorry. <laughs> We did a lot of outdoor stuff, but also a lot of indoor stuff where we could just kind of chillax yeah. and kind of talk with the group, which is really nice. We all got along yeah. and yeah. played a lot of games with each other and just like talked about books and stuff we like in our free time. Every day has just been amazing. What's your favorite part of the actual trip? So one of the excursions that we did on the trip was kayaking through mm. the jungle of Costa Rica and I had such a blast. Kayaking yeah. is one of like my favorite things to do during the summer. Yeah. It was just so amazing to do with a group of girls I've never met before across the world. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, and kayaking. Kayaking in the jungle was my favorite. Yeah, but what she wants to do? What's the assignment? <laughs> my favorite part about this particular itinerary is I'm gonna have to say the jungle walk like Natalie the, will know the night one the night one okay. Natalie will know how scary this was for me um, this whole trip has been outside my comfort zone but doing that and doing it with a group of people that I feel safe with and connected with was amazing our favorite experience was kayaking we actually got paired together as roommates and then we paired together in a kayak and I think it really Bonded us. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I, I, was, I wasn't expecting to get on with everyone so quickly, but um, we really gelled straight away, didn't we, with the whole group? Yeah. So it's been really lovely. Yeah. And also the tour guide. Yeah. Um, Yvonne was really great and he knew what he was talking about. He knew the area and like he was really accommodating if we wanted to do something. Like we wanted today on the last day, 
we wanted to go to the bookstore and we figured out a way that we could do that and make dinner yeah uh, which was really nice Ivan the tour guide was incredible incredible amazing talented show-stopping brilliant he's been yeah. really really sweet about like if something got like cancelled then he found alternatives for us or yeah. like we could just have a nice day for ourselves. I think it's nerve-wracking, one, travel alone, because I think a lot of people travel alone, and then two, to go somewhere that you don't know. So don't worry about it. Meg's great. Sometimes she has a resting bitch face, <laughs> but it's not real. She means She's well. She's lovely. <laughs> she is really lovely. And seeing things that you've never seen before, like I'd never seen a sloth before. <laughs> we saw like... I saw a thousand. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, and so... One thing got cancelled and we just ended up having like a like a nice chill night where we all actually worked out well because we all got to yeah. know each other a lot better. And then the next morning we actually got to do that activity, which was really cool. Yeah. So yeah, it's just it's just been absolutely amazing. Um, and I'm very excited to see what happens with the next Trover trips and hopefully I'm looking to make the Greece trip next year as well. So yeah, if you're thinking about going on the Greece, Greece trip, I would definitely book onto it because we've had an amazing experience here. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it has been a lot of fun. And we fell on <laughs> So just like to ease anyone else's anxiety about going yep. on this trip, traveling to a different country mm -hmm. by yourself, yep. to not be afraid because mm -hmm you're all going through the same experience. Yeah. So you feel this instant connection. Yeah. If you have any like nervous anxieties or anything about anyone uh, being like nice or anything like that, I would 100% not worry about that and wouldn't let that stop you from booking your trip at all. Everyone here has been super lovely. We've had such a good time. We all got to on so well together from the get go. <laughs> it's a transatlantic <laughs> relationship. <laughs> <laughs> All the way from across the ocean. The pond. <laughs> no, for real. We're married. <laughs> and if anyone's thinking like um, anxiety about logistics or anything to do with that, there's like, first of all, your host, like Meg, will be helping you along the way with all of it. And also the travel company has got everything scheduled for you. If you were looking for a wife or husband, <laughs> go to Greece. It could happen. Meg, Meg's the matchmaker of the century. Mom and Dad, prime. <laughs> Tom's great as well. Shout out Tom. Shout yeah, out, for real. Shout, shout out, out Mom and Dad. Tom, <laughs> Tom Keynes, true gent. I've had a few special um, requirements for this trip, but everything's been sorted completely fine and it's really eased my anxieties because I thought I would be uh, a nuisance or something totally was not if you're wondering what meg's like who is she who is she where did you find her um she is exactly as she is off camera as she is on camera she's so lovely and tom is amazing um very much golden retriever energy um so you will 100 percent get on with everyone it's yeah. been amazing and we would really recommend going on the greece trip we sadly cannot yeah. make it no, I'm going to be in school. Yeah, same. <laughs> and also, being a solo traveller, coming into a, a group of strangers, we're literally all doing the same thing. Yeah. So it's been great. Um, yeah, meeting everyone. Yeah. Chilling. And now we have this group of friends. Yeah, we're well, bonded for life. life. Yeah. We were we talking are. about doing reunion tours. Yes. So We haven't even finished the trip yet. We're yeah. talking about reunions. Doing another. So. <laughs> then we can have a podcast and maybe we'll be famous. Oh, yeah. We might start a podcast. I should have I'll turn it back on. Go ahead. We might start a podcast, so if you're interested in that, put it in the comments below. If you love us, but maybe saving up for the yeah. next trip that she does after Greece, yeah. potentially. Who knows? So on the whole, we on the whole. both think that the trip was was <laughs> success. <laughs> Let us know. We'll start a party. <laughs> okay, enough. I've met some incredible people and I really want to keep in touch with everyone for the long haul. Did you turn it off? Yes. I don't know, how can you tell? The red lights did, did it make a noise? Oh, what if we did it wrong this whole time? <laughs> cool, I think that's yeah. it. Bye. <laughs> I feel Thanks, like we... <laughs> what is this? We love you. No, the, what's the <laughs> Gen Z one? I can't do it. There you go. <laughs> so yeah. 
hope to see you guys in, in Greece in 2024. Bye. No, it says recording. Turn it off. <laughs> Hold it down. You're, you're holding the wrong button. <laughs> that whole thing was recorded. <laughs> okay, okay, bye. <laughs> Guys, I was just editing those clips and I, I almost cried because I miss them. <laughs> I feel so sad. Also, I promise I didn't make them say anything. It was just like, if anyone wants to talk about how the trip was, you know, I, I sat at the camera, left the room. And I wasn't standing behind the camera going, be nice! <laughs> but genuinely, the Costa Rica trip was amazing. I hope some of that showed through the vlog. It was an incredible time. You know, as all of the travellers are probably nervous, you know, solo travelling, meeting a group they've never met before, I was also really nervous. I was nervous about everyone having a good time, wanting it to go well, wanting nothing to be a disappointment for anyone. And it went as well as it could possibly be imagined. It went better than I can have imagined. I had the best time in Costa Rica. It was honestly the trip of a lifetime. The amount of animals and nature that we saw, the activity activities that we did together and just the time we spent together. It was amazing guys. I I feel so lucky. I feel so blessed. It was an incredible time and I'm sad. It's been like a week since it ended and I'm not over it. I want to be back with them. It's cold in the UK. I want to be in hot Costa Rica with my friends. <laughs> yeah, I had an amazing time. You know, we, we bonded so well. We were together from like seven in the morning to like 11 at night at least, basically every day. And I could not have imagined a better group of people to do that trip with. So for those of you, <laughs> any one of you who's watching who came on the trip, I love you and thank you for making it such an incredible trip. It wasn't everyone in those videos who was on the trip. Some people didn't want to be on camera. So that was just the people who were up for being on camera. But all of you who came on the trip, um, you're all amazing. You made it an incredible time. And as some of them were saying, I am hosting another trip to Greece next year in October. October 1st to 7th, 2024. We're going to be doing so many fun activities. We've got a Jeep safari. We've got a wine tour. We've got, we're visiting loads of ancient archaeological sites. We've got lots of beach visits again as well. It's going to be amazing. And doing this trip has made me feel so much more excited about Greece, but also made me so much less nervous because like now I know how great it's gonna go. Um, I'm not really nervous like I was, I don't think, for Greece. Maybe close to the time I will be, but I'm just excited. So if any of you want to join us there, I think a few people from this trip may be coming again and hopefully a lot of new people. We've already got a lot of new people coming on the bookings. If you want to join us, I'll leave the link down below and you can ask me any questions that you have in the comments as well. But it was the trip of a lifetime. I feel so lucky to have experienced it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog and kind of living vicariously through it and seeing what we got up to. But thank you also all of you for making that happen because even if you didn't come on the trip, by being a subscriber, by being a viewer of mine, you made that happen, right? Like <laughs> I can't believe I'm in a position where that's my life. And I just want to say a big thank you to all of you because you you all made that happen, all of you watching. And it was the most incredible time. So I love you all. Thanks for watching this little holiday vacation vlog. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye.